again, I want to thank Fausto and the folks at Cyber Trading University for having me on. Uh, very honored to be here. As Fausto said, I've known him for a very long time, one of the true uh, educators and traders in the industry. I always enjoyed listening to him and learning more from him. And hopefully you can learn something from me today. So we have a great crowd today. Everybody seems eager to see the presentation. Again, my name is Silas Peters. I'm the founder and head of Seasonal Swing Trader. And we've already done an audio test, so I think we're good. Let's go ahead and move forward here and take a quick moment to read all this from our friends from the regulatory governing bodies that require us to share. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. There is substantial risk of loss in trading. Only risk capital should be used to trade and you can lose money in trading. So I'd like to take a minute to read all of that. Once you go ahead and tell me where you're from, I like to always see who I'm talking to in the world. Great thing about technology, we have the opportunity to talk to people from all corners of the world, literally. So good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Tell me where you're from. We've got people from Australia, Chicago, Nashville, Dallas, New York, Peru, UK, Tampa, Ontario, Atlanta, Kansas City, London. Pretty awesome. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So let me go ahead and introduce myself once more. My name is Silas Peters. I am a proud husband and father to those beautiful blonde hair, blue eyed beauties on the right and standing in front of my alma mater at the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. After I think two or three days right after graduation, I moved from Tuscaloosa up to the Windy City. And that is where I cut my teeth in the commodity markets at the Chicago Board of Trade. And it is here where I was truly bitten by the commodity bug and I really never looked back. While there, I helped run a global trading desk, uh, running uh, an institutional trading desk for a large commodity-based hedge fund, mostly trading, uh, placing and managing books of trades in the Americas, Asian and European sessions, working with large block, order flow block uh, for hedge funds, banks and CTAs. I've also been a part of, uh, manage, uh, been a part of building and managing several futures and equity brokerage firms managing operations, trading, back office sales and support. Uh, we've mentioned the licenses and then in 2016, I launched Seasonal Swing Trader. All right, we'll quickly advance. You've got the history. Good now, thank you for the feedback. All right, so is this your trading desk? Does your trading desk look like this? Now, not to knock Fausto, it probably does. He's a very active trader during the day, so his may look like that. It's actually what mine looked like when I was in Chicago. This picture is actually from the internet. Uh, I thought it was funny because a lot of people, especially my family and friends, who still don't know what the heck I really do for a living, they, this is kind of their perception of what I do, uh, listening to CNBC all day and, and looking at a bunch of lines and squigglies. Uh, certainly not the case. I do have a bunch of monitors, but nothing like this. And, you know, my, my point in all this and kind of my my MO of the presentation is just going to be to keep it simple. So, uh, you know, all of this is just really not necessary, uh, depending on the quality of life you want. I have ruined my eyes uh, looking at all these computers, but I do love what I do. And uh, so I thought I would share this. But in order to what I'm going to teach you today, and what you're going to learn today, you're not going to need this. You can have a life and uh, you can cut out a lot of the noise. Okay, so paralysis analysis, kind of going back to the theme in the last slide, are you a victim? Paralysis analysis per Wikipedia is a state of overanalyzing or overthinking a situation that, so that a decision or action is never taken in effect, paralyzing the outcome. Raise your digital hand if you are a victim of paralysis analysis. All right, so I was a victim of paralysis analysis. Pleased to say that I'm not. I've been, um, I've fallen in love with every widget, gadget, gizmo, and indicator out there. I still love indicators, but I always go back to the KISS principle, keeping it simple, removing the noise, uncluttering the charts, and really looking and focusing at the price action. All right, so we're going to show you that trading today is not easy. It's never easy, but it can be simple. So what I show you, what I show you today will be self-liberty. All right, so 
what do you trade? Stocks, ETFs, options, futures, Forex, crypto, like to see what everybody trades. Can you go ahead and type in for me what do you trade? I trade uh, really all of the above with the exception of crypto. Don't really actively trade crypto. I am invested, quote unquote, invested in crypto. Uh, who knows what's going to happen there? I've got a large basket of various cryptocurrencies. Uh, and Bitcoin, of course, but uh, don't really keep track of it. Don't trade it, but I do trade all of the above. So we got a lot of futures traders, stocks, stocks, options, all of the above, FX. All right, good deal. So what I'm going to show you is that you're in good hands because what I will teach and show you today works on all markets. It's going to work on all markets. It's highly accurate. It's profitable works in all time frames, and it's about 99% mechanical. But most importantly, it is simple. And remember what I said earlier, the theme is keeping it simple. My wife teaches ballet. I've showed her this pattern, this setup I'm gonna show you today. She even understands it. And so I'm not trying to give her our time. If she teaches ballet, doesn't know even how to spell stop. So, so why are you here? To learn my mechanical done for you strategy for all markets in all time frames. And the agenda and my promise to you is you're going to learn a simple and mechanical setup that is repeatable regardless of the market or time frame. Okay, so are you ready for the setup responsible for the equity curve below? Drum roll, please. It is the one, two, three pattern, also known as the one, two, three top or bottom. Who has heard of the one, two, three pattern before? Go ahead and please type a Y or a yes if you're familiar with it. Type a no if you're not familiar with it. So we have a lot of people saying that they are familiar with it. Some no, surprisingly. So this is one of the most fundamental technical patterns in the books, but highly, and I mean highly overlooked by most traders. If you said yes and you're not using the pattern, I must ask you why. And after the presentation, you're going to ask yourself the same question. So the setup is price action based. Pattern is comprised of a low, a higher high, then a higher low, and a break of the higher high. In the case that we're going long, inverse of short, can anticipate a change in trend from up to down on a break below the number two or the B point, or anticipates a change in trend from down to up on a break above the number two point or the number B point or the B point. Generally speaking, the more bars it takes to complete the pattern, the bigger the move. So the strategy usually occurs at the end of trends and swings. It can be an indication of a change in trend. It can also be found within a trading range. It works extremely well when the pattern sets up at important support and resistance levels. Other high probability patterns such as head and shoulders, tops and bottoms, double tops and bottoms, etc., can be coined as a reversal pattern. So let's take, let's take a look at the basic mechanics. So the strategy, the one, two, three top, the strategy, very simple process, just follow along with me. The point one is the highest high in a trend, it becomes the highest peak when a price finds resistance and moves down. So again, it doesn't matter what chart this is or what time frame. we're pointing a number, we're putting in a number one point on the time frame. we come back down, the point two becomes the lowest low point, which is forming short term support retraces higher, giving us the number three. Once we stop making higher highs, we have a one, two, three. One, two, three, point three forms when we have above the resistance. And then the breakout is a short below the number two point. The breakout below the number two point is our trigger entry. The one, two, three bottom, as you would suspect, is the inverse. Market comes down, makes a new low, giving us our number one reference point. The market trades higher. Once it stops trading higher, we get a number two. The market moves lower, does not take out the number one, giving us our number three. One, two, three. The breakout or level to get long is the number two area right here. The market drifts sideways and don't know if that one actually triggered or not. So one, two, three. All right, so let's look at some chart examples. I think we can best learn by looking at chart examples. We can talk theory all day, but chart 
action is where it happens. So one, two, three pattern pop. This is a daily chart on the Australian dollar. One, two, three pattern pop. So read along here as I point at the chart. The number one point is put in at a 52 week high. The market comes down, forms short term support, i.e. we stop making lower lows, giving us a number two. We have a retracement. It's shallow retracement, but it is a retracement. Once we stop making higher highs, we get a number three point one, two, three. Here is our breakout level. We know where we're getting short. And the market breaks down below the number two point, giving us $2,250 per contract in approximately 10 days. So before we enter the trade, we know our entry point, we know our stop, and we know our target. Our stop, initial stop, always goes above the number one. Breakout level or entry is a break below the number two. Our target is simply the distance between the number one and the number two point. In this case, 225 ticks between one and two. We subtract that from the number two point, and it takes us down to 225 ticks. Here is a daily chart on Walmart, ticker symbol WMT, one, two, three pattern pop. We put in a number one point at a 52 week high. Market comes down, gives us a number two point, retraces higher without taking out the number one. One, two, three. At this point, we know our stop, we know our entry, we know our target. We know our <coughs> initial target, excuse me. One, two, three, the market breaks lower. Our initial target is $5 or $500 per 100 shares. Everybody follow me so far. Let's look at the one, two, three pattern bottom, the one, two, three bottom. Very simple strategy, very simple process. Here's a 15 minute chart on the E-mini S&P, 15 minute chart, intraday chart. So in the previous examples, we were looking at daily. We were looking on a, on a daily time frame. We're primarily look, looking for a 52 week high or 52 week low for a significant high, significant low that gives us the highest probability patterns for the setup. We can dial that back in to about 126 bars or every six months if you wanna look for more setups, but generally speaking, on a daily chart, looking at a 52 week higher low is going to provide the best setups. On an on a intraday chart, what we define a session low is the Globex session open. So for me, that's 5 p.m. Central. So I'm going to go back. I'm looking for significant highs and lows going back to the 5 p.m. Globex so session if you're trading futures. So here we have a number one. The market trades higher, giving us a number two. The market pulls back, giving us our three, one, two, three. We sit on our hands, remain patient. We wait for breaks. For aggressive traders, we take the initial breakout. A more conservative, prudent method is to wait for a break and a close above the breakout level and wait for a retracement back to the, the breakout level and then a trade back higher. One, two, three. This trade was good for about 20 points or $1,000 per contract within about nine bars. Okay, the one, two, three bottom pattern again. One more example. Again, works on all time frames, all markets. This is a weekly chart on Apple. You see that the, we put a number one point, a multi week low over several weeks, several months, a multi week low. Prices moved higher to establish a number two point, moved down to establish a number three. We also get a double bottom scenario. One, two, three. The market has a very strong bullish bar up this particular week. Don't fret, we did not miss the move. Wait for the market to pull back. It's uncanny how often that the market will come back and retest that breakout level and go and reach your target. And this is off a weekly chart. And this is a hell of a way to do some position trading, catch some serious moves, and manage longer term portfolios. These setups, again, work on all time frames, weekly, monthly, etc. If you're an intraday chart, intraday trader, you want to look at pick charts, if that's your thing, five minute, 15 minute. It really depends on your style and your preference. The point is it works on all time frames and all markets. Here's a failed trade. Uh-oh, they don't work. You're not going to leave me, are you? No holy grail in trading, unfortunately. Sorry to bust your bubble. So here's a number one point, five minute S&P. One, two, three. This is a session high. One, two, three. The market breaks below the number two, closes below. It's a valid entry comes back up, retraces, 
gets a short around this area, the market then trades back higher, stopping us out either at the initial stop above the number one, or if you moved your stop above resistance at number three, that's a failed trade. It happens. We're all grown ups here as part of trading. Okay, so this pattern is really just this, or not really a pattern, I just call this the no trigger. So this is just to show you some examples of what happens if you know if we get the nice one, two, three setup and we're waiting for a breakout, waiting for a trade. What happens if it if it doesn't occur? Well, it's just a no trigger trade. We move on, no harm, no foul. Here's a one on the session low. Doesn't matter what time frame this is or what market. One, two, three. We're sitting patiently waiting to get long above number two. The market decides it wants to go lower, taking out the number one low. It takes out the number one low. We cross that out. We move on to the next signal. signal. Right now, this trade is voided. We're waiting for a new signal. Market moves lower. We stop putting in new lows. Once we get the new high, we get a number uh, one. Market stops making new highs at two, one, two, three. Very nice, clean setup. We're waiting to get long here above the number two. Uh-oh, whoops. The market comes back down, makes new lows below the number one. No problem. The trade, the signal is voided. We wait for another setup. Here we go again. The market is still hunting for a value area. We get it one more time. New low, get a number two and a three. One, two, three. We wait for a breakout above the number two point, and we're finally get into the trade. Making sense so far. All right. They says nice, simple, easy. That's the point. So the one, two, three pattern trade management, there are, you know, literally dozens of ways you can manage the trade. The point is to keep it simple, black and white as much as possible. Take the emotion out of trading. So again, just to reiterate, the confirmation of entry is on break above the number two point for a long or a close or a break below the number two point for a short. Exit strategies, the initial target is always going to be the distance between the number one and the number two points. That's your initial target. Don't get, don't try and get fancy with it. After the presentation is over, after the expo is over, go back. I encourage you, go back, look at any charts you want. I don't care if it's a five minute daily chart, weekly chart. You're going to spot these things all over and then measure the distance between the one and two and where your perceived target would be. It is it's crazy how often that it will go right to that target and the market will reverse. Sometimes we get some nice trend runners and it continues in our favor. For if you're trading multiple lots, multiple positions, whether you're trading futures or options or shares uh, or uh, lots in Forex, other exit strategy targets can be the 50% retracement level, the, uh, other significant support and resistance levels. I mean, price action is king. Go to, go look at support resistance. Those should be key areas to look for. Uh, or, and you can trail your market using your preferred methods. Some of the things that I use for trade management on multiple positions, just simple short-term moving averages, basic trend line analysis. If we get really wide range bars, you know, uh, where the market's really taking off, may, may follow it, you know, uh, behind it, uh, two or three candles. There's Parsar, Fibonacci numbers, et cetera. You, know, you got to kind of pick and choose what works for your situation. Uh, Vincenzo says, if the trend continues, the pattern is void. Yes, if it takes out the, the number one low or it takes out the number one high, in case we're short, pattern's voided, we start over again. Sometimes, sometimes that's the best case. When you add some other filters, um, such as divergence filters and say, hey, it's good that we didn't get in that trade because we're going to get in at a, even a better spot. So again, the setup works on any market, whether you're trading pips, Pepsi, pot, that could be potash or pot stocks, pork bellies, which unfortunately are no longer traded on the CME, they're delisted, uh, or the Polish Zloty and FX, doesn't matter. Go look at any market, any time frame. Tick, five minute, 15 minute, hourly, 240, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. Encourage you to look at all time frames. Again, prove it to yourself. Question me, question yourself, and let the market or let the pattern strategy uh, prove you wrong. So, trading style are you a position trader, a swing trader, scalp trader, or tick trader? Me, my bread and butter is five minute, the five minute time frame for intraday charts. 
The two markets that I specifically watch are the S&P and crude oil. Also watch 30-year bonds, ZB, and a couple of the currency markets or a handful of currency markets. But the, but the S&P and crude oil on five minute work very well for me. I like the 240 minute or four hour for swinging Forex. And then daily, that's where it really all started for me is learning off, learning this strategy and pattern off of the daily chart. And really, that's where you're probably going to make the majority of your profits, the swing trading off of a daily time frame or a weekly uh, time frame for longer term position trading. Only you can determine what your bread and butter is, what kind of time you have available, your capital, your risk. And this is just work. This is what I found works best for me. All right. So. You've seen the proof. Who wants to see some more real trade examples? Who wants to see more real trade examples? How many examples do you need to see? <laughs> All right. So I just want to make sure everybody can still see my slides. I've got some thunderstorms rolling through the area. All right. So here is a daily chart of crude oil. Everybody knows crude oil. Everybody watches crude oil. This is the crude oil futures, ticker symbol CL. Um, you know, you can look at USO, other leveraged ETFs. It doesn't really matter. But the chart examples I'm about to show you are real trades, trades that we've taken in our service. And there are three three trades on this chart that you can see. Daily chart, a new trade one. We'll start with trade one. We we'll put in a new 52-week high right here. We come back down, get a number two point. We get a number two point. The market retraces higher without taking out the number one. That's very important. We took out the number one high here. We scratched the trade. We avoid it and wait for a new setup. It's as simple as that. This is a pretty sh uh, shallow or very narrow one, two, three, but it is very much qualified. It's a very much qualified one, two, three pattern, one, two, three. We know our target and a, a target objective before the trade even triggers, which was $3 a move or $3,000 per contract. We hit that in relatively short order. Market trades range bound. You could say, well, there's a one, two, three set up here in the middle. Yes, there is. But I'm looking at a daily chart. I'm looking for significant highs, significant lows, primarily at a 52 week level. This is just noise, in my opinion. We wait. We get a new 52 week high. Surpasses this high. We get a new 52 week high of one, two, three. Again, you have to be fairly quick to the gun. It's pretty short. One, two, three. We don't have a lot of hanging out right here. Market quickly breaks down. What does it do? It comes back up and retests the breakout level. We knew our profit objective before we got in. We knew our risk. One, this is between one and two, four dollars, four thousand dollars for a contract. This is a trade we took in our live trade alert service. This market ultimately ended up moving down over twenty thousand dollars per contract. We didn't capture the entire twenty thousand dollars, but we damn well made several thousand dollars selling call spreads buying puts, put spreads, and being short outright crude oil futures. Here's another one. The market moves lower. Don't care what the market's doing. The market's moving lower. We're starting to put in new 52-week highs down here. Here would be a one, a two. Market voids. This trade's voided by taking out the one low. We start a new count. One, two, three. I like this trade because we are at uh, new lows, one, two, three. I'm looking to get long above this level. We also have a little triangle. I would be looking for a breakout to the upside. What happens? The market breaks out to the downside. The trade is voided. No harm, no foul. Market comes down. We let it do its thing. We finally plot one last low down here. One, two, three. We get a breakout above the number two level. Good for $5 for $5,000 per contract. Gold, another market that everybody watches. I This is uh, the ETF GLD, very high volume, very liquid ETF. I prefer to start with the futures markets just because you're going to have a lot cleaner chart. The futures markets trade virtually 23, uh, six, 23 hours a day, six days a week. Uh, if you're looking at some of the ETFs on the commodity markets, uh, you're going to see a little bit of spottiness because you see gaps and things like that from trades or for movement that happened in the overnight session, but it doesn't matter. It's the same pattern, same setup, whether you're looking at GLD or GC. So we have a one, a two, and a three. 
I'll let you read all the details, but it should be very clear by now. One, two, three, we break down below the number two, we get a retest, not once, but twice, maybe three times, reaches our $4 profit objective. Now, you've got talking heads, people talking about gold, all these gurus, where gold's gonna head, where metals are gonna head. I don't care, I eliminate all of that noise. I'm looking at the chart, I'm looking at the pattern and the setup. Here we get another one, swing trade to the upside, one, two, three, we get a break above the number two, small retest, reaches our number $2, our $2 profit objective. Again, how do you trade it? Go on gold, buy GLD, buy calls, buy call spreads, sell puts, sell put spreads, You're trading CFDs uh, on MT4 or whatever. Um, you, can do, you can trade the CFD. All right, so we get our profit objective. Here the market is choppy. Market comes back down. Looks like we have a new one, two, three. One, two, three. Market makes new lows, takes out this one low. This pattern is voided. We get a new fresh one, two, three. One, two, three. Market gaps up two, three days in a row. Looks like we may miss the trade. Oops. Market comes back down, retest. We have a little trend line retest as well. This market is good. We jump on board. Good for $4 per contract in GLD and thousands of dollars in the futures market. So told you for all of my Forex friends, for for you, for those of you trading Forex, we're looking at the CAD Swissy. This is the US CAD versus the Swiss franc. Two trade examples on a four hour chart. One, two, three. We get a trade, uh, a trade through the breakout level at the number two. We pull back. That trade was good for 70 pips. Here's another trade on the four hour, put in a multi session high on the four hour chart. One, two, three, very small, only about a 40 pip trade. Market breaks down, closes below the number two, retest a couple times and reaches target objective. So I've shown you lots of examples. Day traders out there, this is a five minute chart of the NASDAQ. Same principles apply, same principles apply session low, new Globex session low, one, two, three. We get a breakout above the number two point. The market trades back down. Our target objective is 13 points. This is between the one and the two. We measure that up. We reach our profit objective of 13 points for $260 per contract. We have new session highs. This could actually be a new session high. One, two, void it. We start our count over, one, two, three. We wait, several minutes go by, we finally get a break below the number two point and a retest. The market comes down, it makes us wait for this one. It makes us wait, you can see it chops around, chops around, finally meets our 20 point profit objective of $400 per contract. Last trade of the day, probably an afternoon trade after 1.30 or 2 p.m. into the last hour session, plus 30 points, we have a one, two, three, we break out and close above the number two. If you're lucky, you're working a limit order here for the retracement back, you get long and the market zips off. All right, so, so we've seen lots of examples and you know, for day trading, you get some questions about day trading. Yeah, you, you're gonna need something preferably with movement. Uh, you know, we're not talking about day trading, lumber and milk and uh, I don't really even day trade stocks, um, but you can use these with the Qs and the, you trade the S&P with the SPIs, things that are very liquid. You're going to want some movement, you know, S&P, NASDAQ, YM. You don't really need to trade all three of those because they're all correlated. Uh, crude oil moves very nicely. You can get some nice moves in bonds and, you know, the euro again, things like that. Let me take a look here. Um, sometimes victory is asking if I look for confirmation uh, on a higher time frame occasionally, but it's, it's really not necessary. But yes, always adding additional confirmation is a smart move. So we've been through this already. This is why you're here, right? You know, I just don't know if it gets any more mechanical, any simpler, any easier. There's really no guessing when to get in, right? No guessing where the market is headed, no guessing where to get out. If we had 100 traders looking at the same chart, we should have at least 99 
seeing the same thing, right? You know, there's always going to be one oddball out there that needs to overanalyze. So uh, just kidding. This is not rocket surgery. Uh, you've got to keep it simple. So we've seen enough proof. You have to ask yourself, is this training for you? If you're new to the markets and want to jumpstart your success, if you're an experienced investor and want a big income boost, if you want to supplement or replace your income, or if you're looking to achieve financial freedom, or if you need a specific step-by-step -step plan and want to avoid learning it all on your own, this could be for you. This is something that can be done very part-time and literally anyone can do. So I know what it's like to just be starting out. I know what it's like to be experienced. Going back, removing some of the clutter, what you're doing, even if it's working, go back and look at something else that can add to your arsenal. But wait, but wait, famous last words. <laughs> what if the strategy was automated? What if the strategy was plotted onto your chart for you? What if the trigger entry and the target were drawn for you? And what if your platform could scan the markets for you and tell you when there is a pending setup? That'd be pretty amazing, right? So I've got a treat for you. Special offer for today's 50 workshop attendees only. I'm pleased to offer the 3S code HILO indicator scanner for Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and NinjaTrader 8. Chart Pattern Principles PDF Manual and Trading Guide, Chart Pattern Cheat Sheet, 25 Top Option Strategy Guide, and VIP Email Support. And we hold monthly member bonus sessions. Hint, hint, the next session is Thursday, 228. Next Thursday, 228 at 12 p.m. Eastern. So, let me ask you one question. Do you remember the examples earlier? Please tell me you remember the examples from earlier. This is what the 3S code HILO indicator does for you. So you're not, not hand drawing, you're not guessing. There's no calculations to be done. And most importantly to me, there's, is there's no repainting. There's no repainting. What I see is what you see and vice versa. That's pretty cool. So. These are the exact three trade setups that we highlighted earlier in crude oil. Remember the one, two, three, plots the target. One, two, three, plots the target. The green arrow is the number one. The red arrow is the number two. The blue arrow is the number three. And by the way, they're all customizable. So the market moves its way lower. We're starting, we're getting new one, number one lows, number one lows. Here was that one, two, three we talked about, voided. Here was the other one, two, three we talked about. One, two, three. We take out the lows, voided. So here's the one, two, three, and we meet the target levels. Pretty amazing stuff. Do you remember the gold example? Here's the gold example. One, two, three on a daily chart of GLD. Here was the one, two, three bottom to the long side. Here's a lot of noise, and all that is is noise. We don't get a confirmation. One, two, three. Here is the breakout above the number two, as indicated by the Chevron signal. One, two, three, the market moves up and moves on. So we have everything uh, automated for you. And you know, it got to a point where I was doing this by hand manually and I thoroughly enjoyed it, but looking at roughly 30 to 35 liquid futures markets, about 30 Forex markets and hundreds, if not thousands of stocks every day, I said, hey, let's <clears throat> use our heads and put technology to work. And that's exactly what we did. So the, again, the last example in the NASDAQ, remember the five minute NASDAQ chart, same thing that we looked at. They don't have those big round one, two, threes. That was for example purposes only. One, two, three, one, two, three, boom, one, two, three, boom. Three nice trades on the NASDAQ. But hang on, it gets even better. As I said, why do all the work? Why do all the work when the scanner can do it for you? You can create your own watch list. So these are real screenshots of my Thinkorswim platform of the scanner in action. We loaded the one, two, three top scanner. I'm looking in the Russell 1000, all optionable. I only want to see optionable stocks. And here are some sample watch lists I'm looking at four hours. 
FX tops, 15 minute top and futures, one, two, three tops, one, two, three bottoms and equities. They've got these scanners running um, all across the board. We've got scanners that will not only identify the setup for you, but they'll also identify when a trade has triggered. So we're all grown ups, big boys and girls. We know that there's really not a true crystal ball for the market. But I do like to call this the closest thing in my crystal crystal ball. Four things. We scan the markets, we locate the setup, we enter the trade, and then we exit the trade. It doesn't really need to get any more complicated than that. So we can start profit profiting from these predictable patterns starting now with the 3S Code Pro package. Now I want to tell you we're limiting this to 25 slots because we want to make sure we take care of you, you get set up, you get access to the membership area, and we take care of you. We manage our support personally, and it's not, not a, a bot or anything automated. So today, you can get the 3S Code Pro Package for $297. We've offered it at all of these price points before, but today, it's good for $297. It's a one-time fee, nothing recurring. And again, you get the high low indicator scanner, you own it for life for Thinkorswim, Trade Station, Ninja Trader 8. And I'm gonna drop some news to you. It's gonna be ready for MP4 sometime this week. I'm told by my programmer, you're gonna get a 90 page chart pattern print principles PDF manual, chart pattern cheat sheet, a 25 top option strategy guide, VIP email support, monthly member bonus sessions, and, and, and 90 days free access to the Seasonal Swing Trader Pro Trade Alert Service. That's going to include email alerts, real-time trade alerts, the email and SMS text. Okay? The link is www.seasonalswingtrader.com slash pro. If the folks at CTU Expo can put that in the chat window for me, that'd be awesome. Seasonalswingtrader.com slash pro. So these are results based off the 3S code pattern in 2018. This is the equity curve from 2016 when we launched the service to December 2018 based on trading two contracts in the futures market. Don't trade futures, don't trade commodities, no worries. Show you plenty of examples in the members area where we can trade these setups and these signals using comparable ETFs. So trading crude oil, you can trade USO, other leverage ETFs. Don't trade the euro currency. You can trade FXE, so on and so forth. Most of these markets include comparable and liquid ETFs. But we don't just cover that. We cover all markets. So bonus number one, here is the chart pattern principle trading manual and guide. You're going to learn more high probability patterns, basics on options, seasonal market trends, and order types. Bonus number two, 25 top option strategy guide. Again, strategies for all account sizes, whether you are a basic option trader or intermediate to advanced or strategies for all types of traders. And then bonus number three is the 90 day access to the SSP Pro Trade Alert Service. You're gonna get three to five trade ideas per week. Every Sunday we send out a, a proprietary scan results on bullish and bearish trades in stocks, futures and Forex comes with all the data you need, suggested entry and exit dates, the projected move, the recommended holding time, average win percent, so on and so forth. In the service, we include and cover all of these markets, about 35 commodity futures markets, about 35 currency slash Forex markets, and then over 100, if not 1,000 plus equities and indices. So again, I really want to respect the 25 spot because we've got support standing by. I want to make sure everybody gets access to the membership, gets access to the indicator. And if we've got time, we're going to do a quick walkthrough through the member area. Once there's two areas of the member section, the SST Pro and the 3S Code. Inside the 3S Code, you're going to get immediate access to the indicator and scanner for Thinkorswim, Trade Station, and Ninja Trader 8. You're also going to get all of these bonus materials. You will also get immediate access to the SST Pro Trade Service where you can see all of our open positions, our scans, and things that we're doing with our current open positions. 
So let's look at some proof. These are unsolicited testimonials. Uh, really what makes it all worth it. Don't ask for these. These are uh, comments that come in all the time. Um, you know, here, this he missed a lot of good trades, good service here. It says paid for my subscription plus more. Uh, here's a pretty neat comment. He sent this guy sent me a screenshot of his platform. Looks like Toss uh, hit a home run with Campbell's Soup around 7,700. Lost 950 with AM up 1,300 for G4. Other trades, minor wins and losses. Uh, really awesome stuff. You know, we've got people that are trading with a $2,000 account up to a $500,000 plus account. And uh, I can tell you that we are all in it together. These are some examples of the SMS text alerts. This, this is an optional part of the serve, optional part of the service that you can choose to only have email if you wish, or you can have both. So here you can see I'm giving you all of the details. Um, I'm telling you the strikes, whether we're buying or selling, the symbol, the premium, a little bit of seasonal data. Here we are, uh, we're closing part of the position on crude oil. Here we're taking half profits on you know, X, Y, and Z stock. So we don't leave you hanging. We don't just issue the alert and say, good luck. Uh, we manage the trade with you throughout the length of the trade, where we're entering, where we're exiting, if we need to do something because of news or the trade goes, uh, ends up being more profitable before we had time to do something, or if it goes sideways, we're with you because we're trading these signals live and with ourselves. So are you ready? Uh, this was sent a few weeks ago in January to kick off. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, we don't really send uh, SMS alerts on Sundays. We sent out an alert on Sunday uh, regarding the pound and the euro because we had pending Brexit news. And so we wanted to um, go ahead and get something out and close those trades out, lock in profits. But here's a trade. You know, we're, we're swing trading. We're not issuing alerts on a five minute chart. These are more swing based in nature. It could last a couple of days up to you know, several weeks. But here's a trade that was pretty cool. We got in on Friday and that gas got long. And then we gapped up on Monday. We're up around $3,600. So these are real time updates and real trades. So again, seasonalswingtrader.com slash pro. Please type in if you're joining me so we can make sure you're taken care of. And lastly, as we wind down, you know, Again, I may have said it earlier, but I eat what I cook. And this is a snapshot of my live thinkorswim account. Here's a snapshot of my live futures account. So you can see that you know, here I'm in that gas futures, 10-year note futures, Dollar Tree, options, uh, FXY, which is the yen, unlead gas, unlead, uh, nat gas ETFs over here. I mean, crude oil options, cotton, uh, copper, yen, nat gas. I'm trading these symbols and setups with you. So here's a five minute trade on the E-mini S&P uh, taking on January 22nd. You can see we've got one, two, three bottoms trying to be trying to be placed. We never get them. We get one here. If you look in the membership area, these are not ones that we take because we can't maintain a close above the number two. Here's a late afternoon trade that I got in one, two, three. We zipped up, pulled back, zipped up again. And I made about $450 or nine points on a one lot e mini SP. So here's the package again $297, one time fee, no recurring, nothing recurring, no auto renewals. You own the indicators and scanners for life, plus you get 90 days access to the SST Pro Trade Alert service. We looked at a lot of toss charts. Here's what it looks like in TradeStation. Uh, and all this is customizable. Here is the scanner and trade station. Here is what it looks like a Ninja Trader. So the one, two, three, and there's the scanning component. And that is how it works. So let's take some questions. Um, give me one minute here. And I wanted to show you something that is brand new, hot off the press. So let's look at, uh, you saw the examples here and this is the original indicator and what we have just added literally this week we have added a new visual one two three setup so this all of this new literally you're going to be some of the first to get it other than our members brand new just added this week we have a new 
one through three, all the instructions, there's guides, manuals, videos, tutorials on what it all means. But basically, uh, here we're looking at a daily chart on Apple. We have the same, same rules, same principles, one, two, three, the arrows, but instead of not having any visuals other than the one target line, we have the level break as indicated by the blue line, the stop level as indicated by the red line, first target indicated by the lime or light green line, and then we added a second target component, second target component with the green line, okay? So it's, again, you know, look, I don't remember kindergarten, but I do remember a couple things. I remember how to count to three, and I remember my primary colors, red, green, and blue. And so this is about as simple as it gets. This auto plots for you, no repainting. It's the same, the, the same examples that you saw earlier with the arrows, nothing changes, the one, two, three. But what we added is the break level here is indicated by the blue. We added a stop level as indicated by the red. First target here, second target here, all right? And then all of these can be totally customizable within the settings, regardless of the platform you trade. And somebody asked, look, if we can, we can look at a couple of symbols. Sure, type in your symbols. We have some time. And let me look through some other questions. So somebody says, Fitbit, F-I-T-B. So this is a daily chart on Fitbit. Here we can see the one, two, three. It set up nicely. We broke through, met at first target objective, then met second target objective. Here was another one, two, three. Met first target objective, not quite here, but met here and then rejected and moved down. Here was a very small one. And I must have to add this one to my radar. I haven't really traded. So here's a small one. This one broke, didn't quite meet the target objective. Here was a short trade. And notice all these arrows. These are new one, two, three tops attempting to be put in place. We're waiting and we're watching. And once it takes out the new highs, the pattern is voided. Okay. Let's look at a couple more. I think I'm running out of time. Tiva. Yes, Tiva. Uh, so we have a one, two, three top on Tiva. We have another very wide range. One, two, three top on Tiva. Look how it comes right down to the to the initial target level. Right here, we came to the target level, reversed. Came to the initial target level, reversed. Here, we came to the target level and zipped up to the second target. Uh, five minute chart on crude oil. So this is the crude oil chart, examples that we looked at earlier. Uh, very clear, should be very clear to you. Let's look at the five minute today and see what kind of action we've had. I've been to donuts with dads at school this morning, so I haven't been in the market. Um, so I start my trading day around 6 a.m. Central and look for a couple good setups in the morning before the cash market open. We'll trade sometimes up to around 11 o'clock and then kind of shut down between 11 and 1 and then start back up going into the close. From about 1 to 3, there's usually good uh, one or two setups going into the afternoon. So here we had a 1, 2, 3 in crude oil, came up broke uh, 55.85, met the target level. So again, very clear, it paints the picture for you. You know exactly where to place your order, place your bracket order, uh, you know, your contingents. Here's my stop, here's my target. Here was a short at around six. Man, I hate I missed that one. One, two, three, we broke down below, we retested at 56.40, met the target objective at 56.13. So that's, how that works on, let's look at one more. Waiting for somebody to ask me about a thing stock. Here is, this is a five minute chart. Uh, don't day trade stocks, but you can certainly do it if you want. So here's a one, two, three pattern on daily chart. So we went from 1475 roughly up to 1636. That was a really nice trade there. Here was another one uh, back in November, one, two, three, up from 1560 to 1680. And here is one that did pop out from 1700, went up to, went up only $80, but it didn't quite meet our profit objective. But you can see how that works. So uh, the, the different colors of the lines, Aaron, 
Um, this is showing you the breakout. It's just giving you a nice visual. Previously, we didn't have this. We only had the arrow, uh, the stealth signal or Chevron, showing you that this is the bar that penetrated or broke above the number two or below the number two. This bar broke. It's showing you, hey, it's alerting you, hey, we broke below or hey, we broke above. The blue arrow is showing you the level now, so you can use it as kind of an area to, to watch for a retest. The red line is your initial stop. The lime green or light green is your initial number one. Okay, Bruce asks, what happens after 90 days? Well, uh, you own the indicator and scan it for life. Uh, the alerts expire after 90 days unless you wish to continue. Uh, Newt asked to offer other strategies to accompany the system. There are additional patterns and setups in the PDF manual. We also talk about in the user guide, uh, the user area, about additional filters you can add to it to increase your probabilities. It's pretty damn good out of the box, I'll tell you. Uh, Michael says, do I use stops? Absolutely, of course I use stops. Um, Bernardo says, I don't trade options. Can I still use the alerts? Yes. Many students trading the underlying. We have additional trading material. On, um, on people just trading the outrights and using other strategies. Can you load on multiple platforms? Yes, Carl. Marianne, do I have a trade room? No, ma'am, sorry. Jeremy, does it work on Tick or Renko? Yes. Uh, Aaron, yes, it's part of the package. Dion, I don't do level three data for futures. Herb says, how do you determine if it's time to cash out or the win or losing trade? Um, well, you know, that's when you have to use a little bit of discretion. Initial target is number one, but I also follow the market using basic trend line analysis for short, short term moving averages. I think I may be running out of time. Eric, Fausto, and the gang, thanks a lot for your time. Again, the, the offer link is seasonalswingtrader.com slash pro. Really appreciate the opportunity. Hope everybody has a great rest of the day wherever you are in the world and i hope to be back again soon take care and enjoy the rest of the presentation thanks a lot